Hello everybody, this is Andrew from Otaku Spirit again. I'm joined here with Chris. Yo. And today's unboxing is going to be of Fate Extra Saber Extra. Um, that is another one of the Nendroid lineup. Um, just picked up here recently. And so far I gotta say I'm not too happy about it, but we'll, we'll get more into that in a bit. Um, the outside has your standard uh, layout for a an Nendroid box. Um, little window, some illustrations on the outside. On the inside, um, as you can see, there's not too many parts involved with it. More of it is really arms, uh, different arms that you can choose from it. Uh, they're typically bent arms, arms coming inward, straight arms. Uh, one does come with a rose, though. I thought the rose was kind of uh, a neat little addition to her character. Uh, for those that don't know, Fate Extra is a PSP game. I believe it's just a PSP game. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and in that game, this is the, the form of Saber for that one. And as you can tell, I, I have quite a collection of Saber stuff already. <laughs> well, Saber is your waifu. I mean, what do you expect? I do have something about Saber that I do enjoy. But... And with that comes high standards. And on the back, she's got a little ponytail. Um, I would like to mention, though, that the ponytail is probably one of her worst aspects. Uh, she comes with a kind of a disgruntled-looking face. And then she has two separate faces that have the same expression, except for the mouth, which one is a little happy and one is a little upset. Um, but they're they're not really that different from each other besides the slight mouth change, um, which again goes into my kind of upset about this Nendroid. Is she doesn't really have too much about her. I I'm, I'm guessing it's just that the Good Small Company didn't have much to work with in regards to, because usually with our the different androids, there's so many elements about them that they kind of capture. There are certain aspects of the character from the show or game that they capture. And this one didn't really have too much, I'm guessing, to capture besides her signature rose and her sword. Um, I'm not quite even sure where the disgruntled face comes into it. Um, but I did like her bow in the back, but it does cause issues when you're trying to get her on her stand peg. Uh, it can, it, the bow is exactly where the peg comes in, so you can't really set her up on the stand without, as you can see right here, you can't really set her up on the stand without turning her head. She has to either be looking left or looking right. You can't have her looking straight on. Which is fine if you're just posing her with her sword or whatever, having her look at it from her side as a neat little pose, but just keep that in mind for this particular uh, Nendroid. But overall, I'm still I'm still satisfied with it. It's got a nice little attention to detail with, like I said, the rose. Her dress is very elegant. She has a transparentness about her dress, which is which still looks really nice. Um, I do prefer my other Saber Nendroids more, but she still has her own little charm about her, uh, especially in her kind of uh, very elegant look to her. Um, so if you if you're a fan of uh, Saber, definitely check her out. It's, it's definitely a worthy purchase. Um, just don't spend too much for it. And again, check us out at otakuspirit.com for all of our news, reviews, and more Nendroids. Be sure to uh, subscribe to our channel for all of our updates, which we try to do weekly. Thank you.